What's going on, family? Look, the struggles that you're going through is not a prison where you're serving a life sentence of turmoil. Let me say it again. The struggles that you're going through is not a prison where you're serving a life sentence of turmoil. And we have to get to a place in our lives where we view the struggles that we're going through very differently. Because God is not going to allow us to go through a lifetime of pain. He's not going to allow us to go through a lifetime of despair. He's not going to allow us to go through a lifetime of distress. No, because the position of struggle that you're in is a position of preparation to prepare you for the next season that God has for you. Let me say that again. The position of struggle that you're in is a position of preparation to prepare you for the next season that God has for you. But you have to be willing to endure the struggles that you're going through. As we say in the military, you have to be willing to endure the suck because difficult times are going to come. Along this journey of life, you're going to face hard times. You're going to face certain struggles that may intimidate you. But I want you to understand this, that everything that you're going through are the ingredients that God needs to make you into the person that he's destined you to be in this life. But you have to be willing to endure the struggles as they come. I want to tell you something that you may know or you may not know, but you're not exempt from struggle. Let me say that again. You're not exempt from struggle. Jesus in all of his greatness struggled all the way to the cross. He was betrayed by one disciple, then turned around and was denied by another disciple. He was opposed by all of the teachers of the religious law and all of the Pharisees on the way up to the cross. He was persecuted. He was lied on. He was beaten. Even at the Garden of the Gethsemane, he was crushed with so much emotion. He was crushed with so much emotion, so much anguish inside of his heart because of everything that he had to endure, all of the struggles that he had to face all the way up to the cross. And even in the midst of all of that struggles, even in the midst of all of that struggle, he leaned on to God. I want you to know right now that the struggles that you're going through right now are a catalyst. They have become a catalyst in your life to push you to the next level of life. The struggles that you're going through in your life right now has become a trampoline that every time you jump, you're going to jump higher and higher. The struggles that you're going through in your life right now are like a bow and arrow pulling you back, about to launch you into the next season that God has for you. But you have to be willing to embrace the struggles as they come. Stop running from things that have become difficult in your life. Stop running from things that have become hard in your life. No, these are the very things that you need in your life right now that will be, be a stabilization factor later on in your life. But if you keep running from them, you're never going to learn the lessons that you need from them. These are the things that God uses to build a foundation up under you. You need to be you need to go through the tough times in your life. Everything is not going to be easy. Everything is not going to be easy. And everything that you're struggling with right now, I guarantee you, it is preparing you for the next season of blessings in your life. It is preparing you for the next season of prosperity in your life. It is, it is preparing you for the next season of fruitfulness in your life. That's how you know that you're elevating to the next level of your life. When things begin to get challenging, when things begin to get hard, that's how you know that you're elevating. When people begin to, you know, they, they begin to separate themselves from you, that's when you know that you're elevating. You're doing something different from what you used to do. These are the elevating moments in your life, but you have to be willing to endure the struggles in your life. Before I made this video, before I made this video, very transparent moment, before I made this video, I was in silent time with God. I was in a closet with the lights off, eyes closed, crying my eyes out, just confused and not knowing what God needed of me in this present time in my life, crying my eyes out. And you want to know what he told me? Everything that I'm telling you in this video right now is exactly what he told me. That you have to be willing to go through the struggling moments in your life. Because what I'm about to do in your life right now, you won't believe it. And people that see it, they won't believe it. But you have to be willing to go through this tough time right now. Because, because after every tough situation is a blessed one. So don't run from the struggles. Embrace it. 
Lean more on God. As you go through these tough times in your life, lean more onto him. Lean more onto his word. Lean more onto him in prayer. Lean more onto him in worship. Do not quit. Do not quit. And I love y'all.